have another question first. We hear all about the reptilians. And what do you what what have you been told about the reptilians? Well, I've basically been told that because of the the peace that happened, there's a the reptilians are part of a greater series of empires that used to be this great alliance, and the name that they had for it was Inchara. And Inchara basically said about what's it now about roughly a decade and a half ago that the time has come for for the ending of dark and light fighting and for dark and light to come together. And yeah. so what happened was a galactic peace. And this galactic peace right now has reached the point where the major aspect of the reptilians that were on this planet that were controlling it left. And so what's left now is this group, or you want to call them the Illum Illuminati's or the Last Dark Cabal or whatever particular right. name you want to call them, they were fighting, they're fighting this last rear guard action to protect something that's basically falling apart and falling apart. And now it's reached the part where it's almost impossible to save what's left and they have to realize that the time of the dark is over on this world and the time of the light has arrived and so I just see this period as this last transition and unfortunately we're going through the disaster of the system that they've used to control us for a long time uh, totally collapsing around us and reaching a point where it's become manifest in the newspapers and the political system etc and so what we just have to realize is there's a new system coming. It's not going to be the preservation of this old mess. It's going to be something entirely different. And that's basically what they have been trying to explain to people for the last few decades, that this is a time of change, a time of manifesting new realities, and a time of new consciousness. And with that comes a whole new concept of civilization, uh, political economic systems, etc. And so that's basically what's going on right now. So I, that's what I basically see as my mission here is to explain that to people and prepare people for first contact and for the fact that as part of this new consciousness, they understand that the earth is a living entity and our task as conscious beings, as physical angels, as they also like to call it, is to care for her. And so we have to un understand and change around the traditional concepts of everything that is, you might say, quote, unquote, is the mainstream philosophical, religious, etc. beliefs on this planet. Yes, I can, I, can, uh, I can relate to that. What about 2012? What did that date mean to you? Well, that date to me is a symbol to people that there is a great change. Unfortunately, the dark turning everything upside down and backwards is trying to create it as being a time of a mass incredible cataclysm, which it's not. Exactly. Uh, there are some of these dark people, you know, whether we call them the Illuminati, I call them the uh, City of London International Bankers, because that's where the control emanated right. from. Um, these these people, there are some of them, and I, I agree with you. The main ones are gone now, and even even the ones that are left were just the servants to the main ones. They are afraid of spending the rest of their lifetimes in prison, or they're afraid of being killed. Uh, you know, once we find out everything that they have done to the planet for uh, I for the last 700 years is how long I believe they've been in control. I know they've been in control a lot longer. A lot longer. They say it's roughly been about 13 millennia, but anyway. Yeah, but for the last 700 years, we can actually see their faces in, in the earth. You know, the rest of the time, I think they were shrouded uh, behind in, in secrecy or, right. or shrouded in power. Uh, you know, when, when you are all powerful and you own everything, you don't have to hide anymore. Uh, but what, what I'm seeing right now is these people who are afraid that they're going to be imprisoned or murdered, they are the ones that hold the keys to the nuclear weapons or the biologicals. And what I am afraid of is that the closer we get to 2012, the closer they, we get to ending the rule, uh, ending their rule worldwide, that they're going to do something really, really stupid. Is there anything we can do to prevent that? Well, one of the things that uh, the Syrians Galactic Federation have done as far as the contact is they want a planet to contact. So they have basically warned every major government on this planet that uh, any kind of uh, nuclear whatever is no longer permitted. So, And they have uh, continuously since the 1960s done things which have 
proven to them that whenever they want to, they can turn on and off any nuclear warhead when they want to. So There are so many examples of that. A few of those examples have, have actually made the newspapers, but, you know, because I was married to the CIA operative, uh, you know, he just says this happens all the time. Right. Uh, where the uh, where the missile starts to launch and then suddenly it stops. Uh -huh. And so I think our government knows that they really can't use these missiles. Uh, but I also worry about the biologicals. I mean, they keep threatening us with this avian flu, and it's almost like it seems they're trying to wipe out the weak. Excuse me. They're trying to wipe out the weakest among us. You know, culling the herd. Exactly. That's one of the plans of their grand uh, New World Order they wanted to create mm -hmm. was to get rid of people that they thought were uh, gen genetically uh, uh, inferior or people who were not people that they could uh, easily apply in the directions they wanted to. And so they were going to set up groups that they thought represented potential uh, disasters for what they wanted to do and just get rid of them. And they people were talking about they wanted to actually cull us down to half a billion to three quarters of a billion people, depending on which person you listen to. So the thing that is, uh, is a, that we have to understand is that that also is not going to be allowed to happen. There will be certain kinds of accidents that are considered within the norm by the Federation people, but for the most part the Galactic Federation is making sure that no massive disaster happens. That's why all the times they've been inventing new ways to try to pull the saving flu in large scales or any other kind of thing uh, to make it a massive disaster planetary-wide, a pandemic, as the doctors like to call it. They've uh, prevented that from happening. Well, what about the genetically modified food that is being made and all of these hybrids, you know, to the point that we're growing human hearts inside pigs? How does this factor into what you've been told? Well, they said the certain parts of that are going to be allowed to happen until uh, we reach the next level when they'll just get rid of all of that stuff because they have the ability to turn matter into energy and then back into matter. So when it comes to it, they'll just shift this planet around very fast. And it will be a planet of abundance, not a planet of scarcity, is exactly. what you have said, which means the end of the oil age. And, right. And what comes? I mean, how are we going to power our SUVs? Well, ever since the 20s and 30s, uh, starting with Germany and a few other countries in Europe, there has been alternate energy devices. As a matter of fact, there was a guy called Hans Kohler, and the, uh, just to give an example where that is in the public, they were able to take that device, and of course the, the Germans had it, and they were using it already, so that's a device that has no moving parts and is a free energy device. And these kind of devices have been used on ships that we have back engineered or else been given us since the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So there's all kinds of secret treaties and stuff about this. We have within our capabilities, if the United States wanted to, it could, the president could just go on television and say he's declassifying certain things because of this, because of the national security is more tied up with energy than anything else. Right. And we could, within a matter of uh, months to a year, have retooled ourselves, and we, we we would be operating about every house in the United States, practically, would be operating or would be ordered to have this little device that would electrically power everything, and we could put that also in special vehicles that then would be vehicles that, that would operate by levitating above the earth, uh, and how many feet they wanted it, we would depend on, we wouldn't need roads. And we would just, and these devices are set up so they're unified fields, so if it's bumper cars, so in case somebody does something stupid and bumps into somebody, you just bump around and nothing happens to you. So, so the, re the result is that there is this technology that we very quickly could adopt, but the, of course the oil people are the major part of this Illuminati group and they've been basically sitting on everything. I have heard since I was a teenager, all kinds of horror stories about people who have developed things and totally not been able to do this. Of course, one of my idols when I was a kid to present, Nikola Tesla is another one of these people who developed all kinds of devices. And even though he was an American citizen, when he died, the, uh, the Department of Foreign Properties uh, grabbed all his stuff and immediately the U.S. government declared it to be top secret. So we've had all his devices.